Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 Fall Careers Update which is build 16278. We are really really close to the Fall Careers Update so of course uh, we are you know having builds at an increased pace. So this is the third build in less than a week and uh, it's just very very uh, interesting. But no new features so if that's what you're here for nope nothing new bug fixes but i will do something different in these builds when i talk about them because since there's nothing new well we gotta have something interesting to talk about so i thought every time there's a build i will talk about the build the stability of the build and one of the new features that's in this build so today we're going to talk about the acrylic Fluent Design, which is slowly making its way across this build. So, okay, this build, first of all, arrived today, August 29th, um, and um, was uh, announced during the uh, live show today, which was kind of interesting. And, of course, the installed went flawlessly. It's a faster install than from the past. So, I am this install actually takes about half the time it would take usually. Now this is a slow computer I have here, you know, no SSD, nothing in it. it. It really is a slow computer. So I used to have install times of like a total would be like maybe five hours uh, from, you know, downloading the build to the install. Now this one installed in about two hours and 10 minutes, totally. From the download, initialization, installing and then the real install in the blue screen two hours and 10 two hours and 15 minutes so it's much faster than it used to be so i guess they've uh, maybe tweaked the install thing you know uh, have it like run better now what's interesting here is that we are getting this type of install um i believe when the fall creators update arrives it's still going to be one of the good old installs because it's after the creators update that they're going to tweak the install to have faster installs of future builds uh, so it's going to be interesting anyways to see what's going to happen so okay um you know i haven't tried it for a long long time here i've been uh, mostly playing around with it for the past hour it seems to be very very stable um the first thing that I noticed is that Microsoft Edge came out with a uh, Fall Creators Update once again. But obviously, when you look at the bottom right, we have, of course, the uh, watermark is still there. And if we type Windver to know what type of version of Windows we got, well, Windver tells us that this is still 1703. So it's still Creators Update version number. It's not yet the uh, you know 1709 number that we need to have so they're still considering this a evaluation copy you see it expires here on uh, what looks like 7th of uh, February 2018 so basically install went well uh, it's shorter times of installed than before the um, Windows itself seems to be very stable works well everything works perfectly in here for me no known issues listed, but that is something that they told us they would do, not list any known issues in the fast, um, you know, when, when they were distributing uh, fast ring builds at this pace. So it doesn't mean there's nothing. It means there's probably something happening. Now, there's a lot of bug fixes in this build. So, of course, if you had issues, there's tons of fixes in here. So uh, check it out. There's a lot of things that people reported. Also, there's a fix for some of you that might have had the, uh, it was kind of impossible to upgrade to this build or builds. Um, they've actually recently found out that when you had more than one language for speech as a singular, singular, secondary language, sorry, uh, they, um, they, they, there was a problem with upgrading to the builds. So there's a few things anyways, if you had issues, try this one, 16.273, seems to be uh, a winner. So they fixed a lot of little issues with all sorts of little things, including uh, Microsoft Edge crashing a lot, apparently. And I haven't had really a lot of issues, so it depends. Uh, okay, 
one of the features we're going to highlight today is uh, of course the Fluent Design. One of the best app to demonstrate this is a calculator. It's kind of cool to see the calculator with the Fluent Design. So basically Fluent Design adapts to the background you can see here. Now I know that the uh, screen recorder doesn't capture the full essence of what it looks like but in the background here there's you, you can I see like a transparency and uh, when I go to buttons there's highlighting of uh, these uh, buttons and the sides of the buttons so Fluent Design is much more than just uh, being you know a uh, if you want a transparency like we had in Vista uh, which was Aeroglass it's really um, basically having a lighting system from behind which is very different it actually has the same feel but it has also effects so when your mouse pointer moves across a, a number or across something it actually changes the field of lighting as if you know a flashlight would be simply pointing through that transparency to the mouse pointer for example so um, that's one of the effects fluent design is meant to be more complex than that there's going to be a lot of changes in fluent design even the tiles that we see in the start menu will change they will be more refined you know they're pretty square and rectangle right now but they will be different at some point they will be uh, the edges will be rounded up there will be a lot of things so this is the first layer of what the design looks like there are several layers so every update of windows a new layer of that fluent design will be um, of course available so that means there are going to be changes to all of this so um, that's what's coming up basically apart from that what you're seeing here is of course part of what fall careers update will be all about now uh, you know some of you will be looking at this and saying well I don't see a difference and you know that's the basic problem of uh, these big updates and the surface if you just scratch the surface not a lot of differences but you know look at my reviews of the, the builds that are going to come up you're going to see that I'll be highlighting different options different things that the uh, fall careers update has to offer and you'll see that there's at the end a lot of little changes not necessarily a lot of things that people will use but you know when you're a tech enthusiast you like to see what exactly are you know is Microsoft working on basically so another stable build and of course it's Tuesday I I think there's gonna be another one this week I think there's gonna be one like Thursday or Friday I'm pretty sure I'm gonna push one really really fast again and fix other little bugs in there so uh, you know look for these little videos where I actually talk about it and remember every time we're gonna have a new build from now on we'll talk about a new feature of the fall, uh, fall creators update which means you know you'll know what to look at and what's really coming when this arrives uh, in September late September early October so uh, pretty good build still stable for me at least uh, if you have installed it why not uh, share your own little experience of this build does it work well is everything all right and uh, of course we'll be announcing when new builds arrive I don't expect one tomorrow I, they don't usually do this they usually give at least a day so they can actually check the you know the telemetry everything and the feedback from everyone and uh, well uh, I would I wouldn't be surprised another one this week so uh, that's build 16278 for you a bug fixing build and uh, hope you enjoy our highlights that will have every build with a new feature of the fall creators update if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you so much for following us on this channel